Today, I want to share with you five Cubase workflow tips. What is going on? Chris Elim here from Mixdown Online. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and look at those five workflow Cubase tips that I think you should know about. Okay, now the first one is bypass all plugins at once. This is a very cool one and I don't know if you know about that one. If we open the mix console in Cubase and we look right on top, we will see this right here, which is called the state buttons. And the one I want to focus on are these four, okay? So the bypass inserts, bypass EQ, bypass channel strip, and bypass sends, which is quite nice. So if you don't see this on top, on the top of your mixing console, you need to go on the far top right, and you click, and you're gonna see the state buttons right here. Just make sure this one is checked on and you will see those, uh, those options right on the top of the mix console. So very simple and straightforward. You wanna bypass all the plugins, all the insert plugins of your mix, you click on insert. You wanna bypass all the EQs, uh, channel strip, and so on, all the sends. So you can actually bypass all plugins of your project. Very cool if you wanna compare your mix as it was without plugins and with all processing. So let's try this out on this mix. I'm gonna have you listen to what the mix sounds like and then I'm gonna bypass all processing. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. So everything is on top, so you can bypass all of your processing at once. Very nice. For tip number two, transfer insert plugins to direct offline processing. This is very nice if you uh, if you love to work with direct offline processing. So let's say um, I have my lead vocal right here, and I want to just uh, uh, apply you know my insert processing, all of my insert plugins straight on this vocal audio event, or actually both. Okay, let's select both events, and I want to apply uh, all of those th those same insert effects. Okay, so I can save processing or whatever other reason you want to use direct offline processing for. So I'm going to click on F7 once my audio events are selected and I'm going to have my direct offline processing window. What I can do is to drag one at a time the plugins from the inserts right here to the direct offline processing window. And there you go. And I can do the same for the following plugins. Just drag them over and that's it, you know? But there's a faster way if you wanna just drag the full content of your inserts straight into the uh, direct offline processing window without doing it one at a time. Something you can do, okay, let's open the lower zone or you can go straight on the mix console, but I'm gonna do it from the lower zone, select mix console. Let me bring this one down. I'm gonna go on my, uh, okay, my channel, my vocal channels right here. I'm gonna click here on the left and I'm gonna select insert. So all the inserts are what I see in the lower zone. Uh, but again, you can do this straight from the mix console if you want to. So what you need again is to make sure that you select the correct audio event. You wanna add this on. So let's just select this one, click on F7. And then what I need to do is only to drag the insert, the drag to copy insert settings of the channel. I wanna copy all the inserts plugins straight to the direct offline processing window. So I'm just gonna drag those out and there you go. All of my inserted plugins are applied straight on the direct offline processing window. And uh, from this point on, the only thing I need to do is to remove those from the inserts and just work on the one with direct offline processing. So this is a very cool and fast way if you wanna save processing for some reason, and you just wanna drag all of your uh, insert effects chain straight into your direct offline processing without having to recreate all of them one by one, you know, uh, so this way it's super fast and efficient to do so. Now for tip number three, bounce selection with the range selection tool. Okay, this is a very nice feature and very practical uh, when you're done editing your project and you just wanna consolidate all of your audio. So check this out. I'm gonna choose my range selection tool. So let's say I wanna consolidate and bounce that selection into my project. 
um, of this electric guitar solo. Okay, I can uh, simply select uh, this uh, the, these audio events, click on audio, and go down to bounce selection. Okay, I actually created myself a shortcut for this one because I do use this command a lot. Uh, so replace event, I'm going to click on replace, and there you go. But I can go a step further and select my range uh, selection tool. I can actually select everything from the top of the beginning of my project to the end of the project and uh, you know do the same so i'm going to use my uh, key command and there you go now it's going to bounce that selection included all the quiet space that i have before the beginning of that audio which is going to start at the beginning of the project since this is the region i selected with my range selection tool and the cool thing is that you can apply this to all of your channels and this is where it comes very handy if you want to bounce all of your tracks to send to a mixing engineer or to use uh, yourself in another mixing project. Okay, so uh, you select all of them. So let's go to the, from the top, select all of them. There you go. And uh, everything starts from the top and it ends at the end of my song here. And there you go. I'm gonna go back to audio, click on uh, uh, bounce selection. I'm gonna click on replace this time. And there you go. This is what I have. Now, Cubase has created new audio files. And if you want to find those files, you can go straight on the pool or just right click on one of them and click on show in Explorer. And you will see them right there. Okay, I'm going to click on the date created. So I'm going to sort, I'm going to sort them by date created and all of the new files that were created this morning are right here and those are my new consolidated tracks that I can import into my Cubase mixing project. Note that this is only going to consolidate the audio and not the plugins that are inserted into your session. But everything that is inserted in direct offline processing will be applied doing so. But all the insert plugins will not be applied. Now to the next one. Show all insert plugins from a channel at the same time. Okay, this is a very, very cool one. So let's go back to my vocal channel. Um, let's say I want to open all of those plugins at once instead of just selecting uh, one of them at a time so they can open one by one. I can actually just click on Shift, Alt, and then that E command, the Edit Channel Settings. And there you go. All of my inserted plugins are going to open at the same time and to close them down i can do the same by clicking on Control shift and back to e and there you go so very cool thing and now to tip number five rename an audio file from the info line the info line is right here on top of my project window uh, what you need to do to activate it is to make sure you click on the uh, on the setup window layout and check info line okay so this way you'll have access to the info line which is very practical uh, and there's a bunch of stuff that is, gonna, that is gonna show on the info line the minute you select an audio event. So let's select this one, which is my vocal event. And I have all sorts of different things that I can change uh, from the info line. What I wanna focus on is this one, the file. If you don't see file, again, you just need to click at the right side of the info line right here and you'll have all the options available for you to show straight on the info line and make sure file is selected. And you will see it at the far left of the info line. And this is gonna allow you to change the file name of your audio recording, which is very nice. So there's the description that we see, and I actually made a video on that on my last Cubase tip videos, but I actually forgot to mention the file option right here. Uh, so description is, uh, is shown right here on the event. If if the description and file name are the same, we're only going to see one name straight on the audio event. So let me change this one from vocal 01 to lead vocal instead. <laughs> there you go. And now my original file name has been changed straight in Cubase and also on Windows directly. So this is very nice to be able to change a file name straight from Cubase without having to do it on Windows directly or uh, through the um, uh, the pool, you know? So because that, that's another way you can change a uh, file name. You can go straight on the pool. You can right click and find selected in pool. That will open the pool and you will see your file right here. You can actually rename it from the pool directly, but it's actually just a bit faster to do it straight from the project window by using the info line. 
Now I'm gonna share with you one extra tip. This one is gonna be a small one, very tiny one. It's an extra one. It can be useful if you don't know it already. Let's go back to the mixing console, but that can also be done in the project window as well. If you just want to delete a plugin, um, you know, there's a very fast way to do so. The way I do it most of the time, it's probably the longer way, is just to click and select no effect. I've been doing it this way for years, so it's kind of second nature for me to just uh, doing it this way when I need to remove a plugin. Again. Um, so, you know, I just go on top and that's it. But there's an even faster way to do so, which is even more simple. Imagine you can just drag it to an empty space and that's it. It's going to disappear. Don't drag it to the next one because it's just going to move the plugin over. But if you drag it outside the inserts, it's just going to disappear. And this is so cool. You can do it also from the project window. And there you go. So it's a very fast way to just remove a plugin. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope those tips are going to be useful for you. If so, share, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave everything down below. Until next time, take care and see you.